Hi students, welcome to Smart Vloggers. In this video, we will see the chapter Plant Respiration Part 2, that is Aerobic Respiration. In eukaryotes, aerobic respiration takes place in mitochondria. So mitochondria is the specific organelle associated with aerobic respiration. Whereas in prokaryotes, it takes place in the cytoplasm itself. Respiratory enzymes are found in mesosomes. Then, the crucial events, the two crucial events in aerobic respiration are event 1, Krebs cycle, that is complete oxidation of pyruvate. Complete oxidation of pyruvate through the stepwise removal of hydrogen atoms, leaving three molecules of carbon dioxide. So, complete oxidation of pyruvate takes place. That is through the removal of hydrogen and it leaves three molecules of carbon dioxide. This event takes place in mitochondrial matrix. The second event that is passing on of electrons removed as part of hydrogen atoms to molecular oxygen with the simultaneous synthesis of ATP. This event is also known as electron transport system. And this event takes place in inner mitochondrial membrane. This event takes place in inner mitochondrial membrane. So, the two crucial events in aerobic respiration. One event takes place in mitochondrial matrix. Second event takes place in inner mitochondrial membrane. Then, for aerobic respiration, pyruvic acid first enters into mitochondrial matrix. Where the pyruvic acid a three carbon compound is converted into acetyl coenzyme A, a two carbon compound. During this conversion, oxidation occurs, the removed hydrogen is accepted by NAD and it becomes NADH plus H plus. Carbon dioxide is also removed, decarboxylation takes place, then coenzyme A is added. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme PDH, that is pyruvate dehydrogenase. Mg2 plus acts as the activator of the enzyme PDH. Since this reaction links the two processes in aerobic respiration, pyruvic acid is the end product of glycolysis, acetyl coenzyme A readily enters the next cyclic pathway, that is Krebs cycle. So since this reaction uh, links the two steps in aerobic respiration, this is also known as link reaction. So next about Krebs cycle, also known as TCA cycle, tricarboxylic acid cycle or citric acid cycle. It was discovered by the great scientist Sir Hans Krupp. Let us see the um, Krebs cycle in detail, the pathway in detail. In the first step, a two carbon compound that is acetyl coenzyme A combines with Oxaloacetic acid, a four carbon compound. So two carbon compound, four carbon compounds combines to form citric acid, a six carbon compound. This is catalyzed by the enzyme citrate synthase. And during this step, hydration occurs, water molecule is added. Coenzyme A is removed. In the next step, citric acid, a six carbon compound, is converted into Isocitric acid, another 6 carbon compound. The next step, isocitric acid is converted into a 5 carbon compound named alpha keto glutaric acid. So during this step, decarboxylation occurs. Oxidation also occurs during this step. The removed hydrogen is accepted by NAD plus and it becomes NADH plus H plus. The next step, Alpha ketoglutaric acid is converted into a four carbon compound named succinyl coenzyme A. During this step also, decarboxylation occurs. Oxidation also occurs. Here also, hydrogen is accepted by NAD plus and it becomes NADH plus H plus. The next step, succinyl coenzyme A is converted into succinic acid another 4 carbon compound. During this step, the energy released is immediately accepted by GDP, guanosine 
diphosphate and it becomes GTP guanosine triphosphate. Then GTP soon hydrolyzes. GTP soon hydrolyzes guanosine triphosphate soon hydrolyzes into guanosine diphosphate. The energy released during this hydrolysis will be accepted by ADP and it forms ATP. So one GTP, we can say that is equivalent to one ATP. This is nothing but substrate level phosphorylation. So say in Krebs cycle, the only step in which substrate level phosphorylation occurs. That is during the conversion of succinyl coenzyme into succinic acid. The next step, succinic acid is converted into another 4 carbon compound that is malic acid. During this conversion again, oxidation occurs. Here the hydrogen acceptor is FAD and it forms FADH2. The next step, malic acid is converted into oxaloacetic acid. Oxidation occurs during this step. Hydrogen acceptor is NAD plus and it forms NADH plus H plus. And during the conversion of malic acid into oxaloacetic acid, hydration also occurs. So see, there are two uh, steps in which hydration occurs during Krebs cycle. Then oxidations. How many oxidations are there in Krebs cycle? Here, one, two, three, four. So see, four oxidations in single turn of Krebs cycle. How many hydrations? Two hydrations in single turn of Krebs cycle. How many decarboxylations? Two decarboxylations. Six carbon compound becomes four carbon compound. So two decarboxylations. This is the equation given in NCRT uh, for the reactions that takes place in mitochondrial matrix. That is pyruvic acid. It starts with pyruvic acid. That is linker reaction plus Krebs cycle. Pyruvic acid plus 4 NAD plus plus FAG and 2 H2O then ADP adenosine diphosphate then PA inorganic phosphate these are the reactants products 3 CO2 single turn yields 3 CO2 2 in Krebs cycle 1 in link reaction 4 NADH plus H plus 3 in Krebs cycle 1 in link reaction FADH2 in Krebs cycle, ATP in Krebs cycle. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. And if you have any doubt regarding this topic, uh, please comment below. Thanks for watching.